Welcome back to the Atlanta Falcons franchise, everyone. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat, and today we bring you another division rivalry game. This time from Bank of America Stadium to face the Carolina Panthers. As we commented on the past couple of weeks, the Panthers are without their star running back, Christian McCaffrey, who tore his PCL and will miss the rest of the season. The Panthers have gone with Daryl Henderson Jr. to fill in for him, and he was instrumental in Carolina's win over the Saints last week, gaining over 200 yards on the ground. You don't really have to think very far ahead to know what Atlanta's focus needs to be this week. Can they stop him from shredding the defense without giving up the long ball downfield? Let's find out as we prepare for the Panthers and Falcons here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. With Shy Smith back deep for the Panthers, Cade York gets us underway here in Charlotte. Up the middle goes Smith and gets just past the 25. So they start out at the 27. Darnold throws complete. And Robbie Anderson has a completion over on the left side. Good for six yards. Second in four. Up the middle goes Henderson. And did he make the first down? No. Third in inches. And the play action pass. It's complete out to Henderson. Has the first down at the 40 yard line. Darnold, like Corral, likes to use his backs as receivers. So it'll be interesting to see how he incorporates that in the game. And that's a completion on the left side out to Will Disley. Second and five, Henderson has the first down into Falcon territory at the 49, possibly the 48. Oh, they're gonna give him forward progress all the way to the 47. Darnold back to pass. Can't find anybody open and finally goes down. Anthony Walker getting there first for a 10 yard loss on the play. Now second and 20 for the Panthers. It's complete. Chuba Hubbard didn't look like he was quite ready for that. He makes a two yard gain and Darnold is injured. That brings in P.J. Walker on third and 18. And he's looking for somebody to throw it to. Throws downfield and it's almost intercepted. Fabian Moreau got his hands on it and couldn't haul it in. So the Falcons take over at the 20. The pass is complete over the middle to Christian Kirk. He has a nine yard pickup on the play. Brings up second and inches. Out of the eye, the give is to Love, and he has the first down out to the 35. They stay in the eye formation. Play action pass, throwing downfield, and it's intercepted. Going back the other way, and it doesn't look like he's going to be stopped. Dante Jackson takes it all the way to the house, giving the Panthers the first score of the game. And you can see how he just jumped right in front of Kirk and Hurst on the play. And now it's seven to nothing in the early going. Corral throws, completes it to Gage. And he's out to the 34. Now third and in inches. Corral with the pass, completes it over the middle to Kyle Pitts. That's a first down and uh-oh, Pitts is down. And looks to be okay. And kind of mad on the sideline that he got injured, but he'll be back. Now on second and seven, Love gets the call and he has a first, oh my goodness, he got up, didn't go down. Was laying there on top of the pile. 
And he has the first down and more into Panther territory. So on second and nine, the completion is made to Jerrion Ely. Six yard gain, third and four. Ely again out of the backfield, the other side. And he has the first down. Now from the 28. Play action pass, Corral over the middle, completes this one to Russell Gage inside the 15 yard line for another first down. And the 11. Out of the shotgun, Corral can't find anybody open and finally goes down at the 19. Hassan Reddick on the sack. Out of the shotgun. Corral completes it over the middle to the 16 yard line and David Long Jr. is down and being escorted to the locker room for the Panthers. That'll eat into their depth just a little bit. Cade York comes on for a 33 yard field goal and it's up and good, putting the Falcons on the board. Seven to three in favor of the Panthers. Darnold is now back in there. And under center, takes it and gives it to Henderson. And he gets probably about five, maybe six yards. So on third and five, Darnold back to pass, throws it out of bounds. So the Falcons take over again, just inside their 20 yard line. And the pass complete. Hurst with the first down out past the 30, and I could hear that all the way up here in the booth being hit by C.J. Henderson. Ely with the reception out of the backfield takes it to the 43. And that brings us to the end of quarter number one with your score seven to three. For the shotgun, Corral. Completes it short to Hurst, and they do not give him the forward progress he needed to get to the sticks, but after a Panther three and out, it's the Falcons ball again, and there goes Bryce Love. A first down inside the 40 yard line of the Panthers. Now out of the shotgun, the pass complete. Out to Pitts on the left side. A nine yard pickup and it's third and one. Corral back to pass and oh, what a collision. Kirk not able to hang on to it. Being hit by Sam Franklin. So a 47 yard field goal and Cade York puts it up. And it is good. Seven to six is now your score. The Panthers still have the lead. The Panthers now working from their own 25. Out of the shotgun. The give is to Henderson, and he is tackled in the backfield. Foye Aluakan wouldn't let him pass the line of scrimmage. Darnold throws over the middle, completes this one. DJ Moore over the middle. And now it's third and seven. Darnold over the middle, completes it to Robbie Anderson. First down out at the 39. Checked at the 40 yard line. So now on second and nine. The first down catch by Anderson is inside Falcon territory at the 45. And once again, Henderson is taken down in the backfield. Panther running game just isn't getting it done right now. Donald alone in the backfield throws it up and it's caught. DJ Moore inside the five. And that gives the Panthers a first and goal. 
Henderson takes it over to the left side and can't get inside the five. Now third and goal after a tackle for a loss. The shotgun throws and completes this one in the end zone. Touchdown, Robbie Anderson. After a missed extra point, the Falcons have it third and 13 at the 30 yard line. The throw downfield is complete. Geronimo Allison tackled at the 47 yard line of the Panthers. So first and 10. Corral throws and it's dropped and picked up by Carolina. There is no one in between. Oh man, Matt Corral showing off a little speed and Franklin takes it into the end zone. Another touchdown for the Panthers. Here, Jerry and Ely makes the catch but the ball is popped out. Franklin picks it up and scores. So it is 20 to six in favor of the Panthers. Bryce Love takes it over the left side and gets a nice nine yard gain out of it. Second and one. Love on the carry again, picks up the first down and that brings us to the two minute warning. Panthers with a very comfortable lead at this time. Corral throws over the middle, complete to Pitts inside the 45. On second and 10. Ely takes it up the middle, fumbles the football. And his second fumble, and there's a booth review on this one. If you take a look at it, it looks as if his knee was down before the ball came out. See if the referees agree, yes they do. So third and four, Corral throws and there's nobody there. So out comes Cade York, a 54 yard field goal and it's good. 54 yards, I was a little concerned whether he had the leg to do that, but there was plenty of foot on that one. 20 to nine is your score now. Henderson, play action. The pass downfield is complete to Antonio Brown. And he is now with the Panthers after that fiasco in Tampa Bay. That one's complete to Robbie Anderson, a timeout taken by the Panthers. They're inside Falcon territory. Donald can't find anybody to throw. Who two fumbles the football and it's recovered by the Panthers. Second and 25. And the interception by Isaiah Oliver stops the drive before they get to the 40 yard line. Now, Darnold just threw that way outside and Robbie Anderson had no chance of catching that, but Isaiah Oliver did. Now 22 seconds left. Corral throws short. Ely with the juke and out of bounds for another first down at the 44. And second and 10, 11, 10 seconds. Pitts with the completion over the middle inside the 30 yard line and hit. This is where Cade York will come out. A 44 yard try this time and it's up and good. York perfect on the afternoon so far. But that only gives them 12 points. It is the Panthers by eight, 20 to 12 at halftime. 
Now let's go to Eurocat Baby for a halftime report. Welcome to the Madden Franchise Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the action in Charlotte in a moment. In other action around the league, out in Denver, the 1-3 Broncos are about to take a 9-7 lead into halftime. Tyler Huntley has put the ball in the air 28 times in the first half, throwing for over 200 yards. Desmond Ritter, on the other hand, has been held in check so far, only completing three passes for 38 yards. In Los Angeles, the Chargers are taking a 10 to nothing lead into the locker room. The visiting Seahawks don't seem to be able to get anything going. Chris Carson has been held to six yards on three carries, while Russell Wilson hasn't been able to complete a single pass so far. Let's just hope the second half is better, because this just isn't classic Russell Wilson. Earlier today down in Tampa, the Bucks, even with Tom Brady throwing two interceptions, came away with a one-point victory, 22-21 over the Bengals. Tampa Bay is now at 3-2 on the season, and in order for Atlanta to keep pace with them, they have to post a win today. That being said, the Falcons have, on the stat sheets anyway, outplayed the Panthers. The only thing that's keeping them from the lead in this game is a serious issue with turning the ball over, creating scores for the Panthers. Can they clean that up here in the second half? Stay with us to find out because we'll be right back. Welcome back to Charlotte for second half action between the Falcons and Panthers. Atlanta has made a couple of mistakes in the first half and Carolina has taken advantage of those miscues. Although the Falcons have only been able to get close enough to the end zone to put field goals on the board, they've scored four of them, meaning they're only a score out of a tie with the Panthers right now. And they keep from making the mistakes that plagued them in the first half? Let's find out as we get set for third quarter action. The Falcons take the opening drive in from their own 25. Corral back to pass, completes this one. Ely is out of bounds for the first down at the 35. Pass again to Ely and breaks a tackle and is out past the 45 for the first down. Now it's Love, and he takes it into Panther territory. A six yard pickup. Corral just gets rid of this one. Ely with the reception out of the backfield and finally gets tackled. Miles Hartsfield inside the 35. Now the give is to Love and he has lots of room up the middle and another first down for the Falcons. This time from the 22. Love breaks a tackle and is close to another first down and they're not going to give him that one. Second inches. Back to pass. Corral takes off himself. Slides down at the eight yard line looks like. On second and goal. Ely. Power runs up the middle and has the touchdown. I would only think that the Panthers really weren't looking for that because Ely is not the back that usually takes it up the middle. That would have been love. But he powered his way all the way into the end zone. A two point try now. Ely with another power run up the middle and he scores. This ball game is tied at 20 apiece. Uh oh, Jonah Jackson is being escorted to the back in the locker room. Uh, we're gonna have to find out what's happening with him. Darnold on the play action pass, runs straight into Dante Fowler. An eight yard sack 
is recorded on the play. So second 18. Robbie Anderson picks that back up plus a yard. So third and nine. Pass complete. All alone in the flats is Robbie Anderson and he picks up the first down out to the 41. The give now to Henderson and he is taken down after only a three yard pickup. Third and seven. All alone in the backfield. Darnold can't escape. Dante Fowler again. This time a nine yard sack. And look at the numbers on Love. 12 carries for 74 yards. A far cry from last week's dismal production. Kirk with another first down grab. Corral throws again the same play only to gauge this time and it's a first down well, a play action pass throwing out of the backfield Ely with a nice juke and he takes it to the 40 yard line second and in inches Corral throws out of the backfield to Love and he goes out of bounds at the 33 for a first down. Falcons out of the eye. Ely takes it to the left side, has good yardage inside the 25. Third and one now. The pass, oh, completely misjudged. Wes Watkins coming across the middle of the field. Cade York comes on for a 40 yard field goal and misses. The game continues in a tie, 20 to 20. DJ Moore with the catch on that play. A seven yard pickup, third and three now. The pass complete to Henderson and he is tackled at the 45 but not before getting the first down. Donald back to pass. And completes this one into Falcon territory to his tight end, Tommy Tremble. And that brings us to the end of three. And Charlotte with the score 20 to 20. Henderson falls forward for the first down. Second and 10. Darnold back to pass and it goes down. Dante Fowler getting to him. Also, Isaiah Oliver was in on that sack. So third and 22. The catch over the middle by Tremble and that is fourth down. The Panthers have to punt. So from the 20, Corral with a big pass and a big gain to Gage. A 26 yard reception all the way out to the 46. Another pass, Pitts. And inside Panther territory in inside the 40 yard line for another first down. Corral throwing for some big yardage here now. And up the middle goes Love. He has another first down. This time to the 25 of the Panthers. Of the shotgun, another pass. Completes this one down to the 15, Geronimo Allison. Just short of the first down. The pass out of the backfield to Ely has the first down and inside the 10 yard line. Now in the red zone, the pass is caught, Allison just outside the goal line. It's on third and goal. The touchdown is good. Bryce Love takes it in untouched. And that makes this football game 27 to 20. The Falcons have finally taken the lead. Pass is complete. 
Out to Antonio Brown. Darnold throws this one to Robbie Anderson at the 41. So third and six. Darnold again over the middle to Anderson and he has no, they're not going to give him the first down. It's fourth and inches. Darnold throws it up and it's complete again to DJ Moore inside the 10 yard line. A 44 yard reception. The pass is knocked away over the middle by Aluakan. And on third and goal, the pass complete to Disley and he is tackled shy of the five yard line. So fourth and goal from the six. The pass into the end zone all alone is Tommy Tremble. Now after another missed extra point by the Panthers, the kickoff to the five. Oh my, look at John Ross go. Inside the 35 yard line of the Panthers. The Falcons with a one point lead. And they expand on that. Pass completed to Kirk for a seven yard gain, third and three. Completed to Allison for the first down at the 20. Just inside the red zone, Love takes it to the left and drops the football. It was tore out by C.J. Henderson and finally picked back up by Love. Now after a huge loss on second and 21, pass complete out of the backfield to Ely and he gets inside the 20 yard line. So third and eight, and that one is knocked away. Hartsfield got a hand in there. That brings on Cade York for a 35 yard field goal, and it's a good one. And that makes the score 30 to 26. With a minute 50 left, and Darnold has all day long and finally goes down in the arms of Michael Walker. Second and 21, the pass is knocked away. Third and 21. Pass is out of bounds. Darnold couldn't find anybody to pass it to. And on fourth and 21, all day long. Darnold throws and finds his intended target, Robbie Anderson. He takes it out to midfield, and we have, uh-oh, Matabike is down and injured. That could be devastating to the Falcons' defensive line. And Henderson over the middle with the catch to the 42. Darnold back to pass, and John Kaminsky gets there just as the pass is released, and it goes nowhere. Antonio Brown with the drop. Fourth and four. Pass completed. Trumbull over the middle. First down, Panthers. 16 seconds, and oh, an interception. Jaquan Brisker, his third interception on the season, and what a game saver. Donald was trying to hit Terrace Marshall going down the right side, but Brisker just jumped up and snagged that one out of the air. And all the Falcons have to do is take a knee and this one is over. What a second half of football.
The Falcons threw and passed their way by the Panthers. Carolina came oh, oh so close to putting a score on the board that could have lifted them past the Falcons, but Jaquan Brisker ended the threat with his third pick of the season. Both quarterbacks were in the 80s for their passer rating, which I thought was a little unusual since Corral didn't throw any touchdown passes and Darnold threw two interceptions in the game. The bigger story, however, was that Bryce Love didn't have a bad outing. Given that he was up against a pretty good front seven in Carolina, even a bigger surprise was that the Falcons were able to stop Daryl Henderson. A 21-yard effort was a real win from my perspective anyway. Jerrion Ely, although he put the ball on the grass once, did an outstanding job of catching the ball out of the backfield. And it would seem that this is where he makes the best impact. So I foresee Atlanta making more use of him that way. I know that with John Ross coming back off injury and making a couple of good returns for the Falcons, Ely's place seems to be better suited for work out of the backfield than in the return game. Switching gears to the defense, did you notice a change? The Falcons have switched to a 4-3 defensive alignment, which may have accounted for a better job against stopping the run in this game. Which means if they stay with that 4-3, then either Foye Aluakon or Tremaine Edmonds may be expendable in the linebacking crew. Because I see a need for a really good defensive tackle if that's the case. Since Dante Fowler is going to be out for four weeks with some broken ribs, the plot even gets thicker. Is there a trade in the future for the Falcons? What are your thoughts? Leave a comment about what you think and should Atlanta trade or stay with the personnel that they have. There should be some serious conversations in the Atlanta head office this week, I would think. The Falcons' new defensive front will be tested with this next week because the 4-1 Steelers are set to bring heat. Rookie quarterback Kenny Pickett is having a great start to his NFL career, just adding to the strength of this offense. Rookie Trayvon Walker out of Georgia, along with TJ Watt and Minka Fitzpatrick on defense, make for a very strong team, which will give the Falcons all they can handle. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. With this win here today, Atlanta has jumped back into a tie for the lead in the NFC South with both New Orleans and Tampa Bay at 3-2. With two rookie quarterbacks going head-to-head, -head, it'll be really interesting to see how each offense performs, especially with the new defensive front in Atlanta and some serious talent to fill gaps in the Steeler defense. Will the offenses light up the scoreboard, or will the defenses prevail in this one? To find out, be with us for another clash with the AFC North when the Steelers try to upset the Falcons in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.